वेलकम टू नॉलेज अपडेट चैनल आई एम अ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट आई ऑल्सो पास सर्टिफाइड पब्लिक अकाउंटेंट सी पी ए फ्रॉम यू एस ए एग्जामिनेशन आई पास सी पी एग्जाम ट्वेंटी ईयर्स बैक एंड एट दैट टाइम द सी पी एग्जाम वॉज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इट मूव फ्रॉम फिजिकल टू कॉम्प्यूटर बेस्ड टूडे टूडे ऑल्सो द कॉम्प्यूटर बेस्ड एग्जाम हैज बीन देर फॉर सी पी ए हाउवर now giving examination is a little easier in that days i need to travel to usa and get the visa and then appear for examination in usa only however in today it's available also across india so let us understand how to go through and pass cp examination because i have received many queries from a chartered accountant particularly that whether to do cpa one if yes then what is the process of getting registered for cp examination how cp exam is tough or simple compared to ca examination and what are the licensing requirements so just to provide this the response to the questions i have prepared a short video that provides a basic understanding primarily focusing for the ca in india who wanted to pursue cpa so the agenda for this presentation first includes what are the benefits pursuing for cpa after ca because there is a common question second steps to obtain cpa third how is cpa exam is structured fourth licensing requirement for cpa this is the overall understanding of about doing cpa let us first understand about that uh, what are the main benefits because the common question is that what that shall i do cp or not probably you may be receiving a lot of calls from a certain cpa course curriculum or cpa coaching classes that cpa should be done but i think the most important thing you have to evaluate by yourself whether you require cp or not it is not something that somebody call you 10 times that means you have to do cpa you are in the right position to understand whether you need cpa or not so first and foremost let us understand what are the benefits for doing cpa and then you you will by yourself that whether you feel is there a benefit to, to you if you do cpa first and foremost it broadens the career opportunities once you are cpa there obviously you have a more acceptability and more a uh, demand in a certain mncs who are having a us base or global companies like mncs plus you can also be part of kpo so uh, your career opportunities have been driven primarily by way of this cpa second recognition across globe ca india is definitely one of the most toughest course in india of the world so basically even though you are past ca india probably there are very few countries they will be able to recognize the hard efforts and eligibility and the credentials of the ca candidate however cpa is me internationally is a part of usa it has a more recognition where the countries across the globe like canada uae and other countries in addition to usa they recognize the cpa usa third if you want to do practice for the us based clients then it gives a lot sense sense of satisfactions to the your clients that yes you are aware about the laws in usa and fourth you get a competitive edge in job market particularly when you are talking about the international companies when you talk about kpo when you talk about going out of india and settling out of india uh, then i think cp usa may be beneficial if i just ask question to myself how whether cp usa is helpful to me so i after ca when i pass cp examination so that helps me to get a job uh, and working for us gap corrosion project so as i was cp usa and ca uh, in india i was fortunate enough to handle lot of conversion tasks from as to us gap so there are a lot of companies who are in india they want to convert the gap from as to us gap so i got opportunity to do that and that helps me to build my career on the international gap conversion as i for as was coming to india at that time the most important thing to how to converge from as to ifrs 
and that I specialize because of my experience of handling from years to years gap and that opportunity I received because I was a CPA USA. So uh, probably how your career shapes, it all depends upon what you want to do it. Do you want to settle in USA? Do you want to do a job in KPO? Do you want to do a KPO by yourself? Or do you want to focus on the international qualifications? If answers to these questions is yes, probably it is a good choice. Otherwise, we do have a lot of other qualifications are available. But you should select on your area of your interest and area where you want to establish your own career path. Now coming to the next point, which is about uh, the basically the steps to obtain CPA and uh, it is a basic brief guide I will just say just uh, just a basic uh, idea about how overall this uh, uh, examination process is there first and foremost is to you have to identify eligibility criteria it is little difficult and complex compared to in, uh, India when in India CA ICAI is the one body where every state in India are having the one course curriculum, one institution that I see AI. However, in USA, every state is an independent state. Every state has their own uh, different rules for eligibility and own different rules for the licensing for this state. How the examination is uniform. Whoever passed CP examination, it has been done uniformly, similar across USA. Respect the state in which you are eligible, respect the state in which you get a license, respect the state in which you appear for examination that has no relevance. CPA exam is a uniform, it is the same across USA. So, one of the most important things which is to be seen is that are you eligible to appear for CPA examination from which state? Even though you appear in India or any other state but you have to pay certain fees and you have to process through the particular state only so i also mentioned here the nasba.org that is the association of all states where uh, the information regarding the different states eligibility be provided so first look at which state has more easier eligibility requirement where you can straight away appear for examination without any other eligible examination Every state has a different thing, so uh, you need to study that thing. Third, uh, based on the experience and based on the interaction with other CPA who recently passed examination, uh, there are few states like Georgia, Montana, Colorado, Delaware. These are the few states where eligibility may be a little easier, but however, these norms being changed, revised uh, every yearly. So I advise you to please go through the list of states and then you identify where the eligibility is a little similar, a little easy, simple. And the last very important thing is that you have to spend some amount of time to identify where the process is simple, process is easier and where you will be able to fit to these requirements. Now coming to the next very important part is about uh, looking at this uh, examination. So this is just a snapshot of uh, how the nasba.org exam cpa exams web page contains here we just look at every jurisdiction is listed you click on the jurisdiction and that that will lead to the particular state uh, page of examination of cpa for if you click on like first one uh, alabama then it will take to that particular state and in that state it will define what is eligible requirements and how can you apply to the state then there are FAQs available on scores, NTAs, exam FAQs, uh, jurisdiction ID, candidate FAQ. So this may be helpful to you to have a, a basic first line information about these requirements. Now coming to the next point that is on understanding CP eligibility. Because the first step is about that whether you are eligible to appear so don't worry about the state i have received many queries that which state is better that is colorado washington new york new york city street better it doesn't make any difference whether you may have appear or apply in like uh, for example delaware or colorado or new york cpa exam is a uniform across all state 
so any state which has a relaxed eligibility comment or lesser fees it is better for us to appear so uh, however just look at the how many credit hours it's so like eligibility is defined by the cpe credit hours 120 credit hours maybe generally uh, is what is the every state requires it is primarily based on three to four years of your education qualifications if you are a master of commerce then obviously it is uh, is easier even though if you are not master of commerce bcom plus ca it will definitely help you to get uh, the minimum eligibility requirements so how can you know that so you should have a transcript of these particular uh, your uh, your uh, mark sheet is required so understand eligibility as you recommend licensing criteria are again based on every state credit conversion also you have to look at that how many how many credit hours you can get based on your study of bcom bba bsc or master of commerce or other qualifications and that is what is the most important first part to go to the next step before CP examination. Next point is uh, primarily on obtaining transcript. Once you decide that which state will be beneficial to you as far as the eligibility criteria is concerned and also the fees is concerned, the second step is to you to obtain transcript. They talk about 120 hours. How can 120 hours is decided? It is decided based on the mark sheets of the your graduations mark sheets of your 10 12 mark sheets of your ca and master of commerce or other uh, courses so that particular courses will decide how many hours you have studied so that is called transcript transcript of your mark sheets will help you and to them to assess how many hours you are eligible to obtain so uh, collect the mass script from universities, ICI, college and uh, generally it takes one month for collection of these transcripts. For ICI, the transcript is an online process. It is a smooth and online process. Uh, however, for particular university, college, you have to go through and uh, by their websites or go through and meet them personally and then do the processing of the transcript. You may be required to translations in case uh, there is certain state which requires only in English and your transcript or your machines are not in that way you may have to translate into English requirements. Now next point is uh, basically notice to schedule NTS. See NTS is a authorization to you for exam schedule. Once you are eligible you appear you apply to a particular state once state evaluate you are eligible they will issue NTAs it says that now you are authorized to schedule your examination so that is NTS so once you get NTS then there is certain timelines within which you have to schedule examination and uh, the validity of NTS is primarily for a specific duration which may be very based on every state so but, but just, just look at that once you get NTS you schedule examination within the valid period next point is on understanding about cpa examination so we talk about that whether you do cpa one second we discuss about the case where uh, that what are the steps for uh, getting cpa examination that is the very very important thing is eligibility requirements then transcription and now cpa examination there are four papers see compared to ca it's a simple and easier in cpa foundation interfinal in my ways it was like four papers in foundation six is in inter and eight in final so it's like 18 papers which we have appeared over the period of more than three years with artificial period here it's only the four papers you have to pass and that four papers also <clears throat> you have to pass as per your convenience for ca we have like may and november however here as per your convenience, you can appear for one examination, then your convenience second examination, then as per convenience third and fourth. So four papers at your choice, you can appear for every examination separately. So uh, it is a uh, more simpler. Uh, there are four exams. One includes of accounting, auditing, business environment, and regulations. Accounting and auditing. Auditing is a little easier, simple. It is similar like us. 
based on international standard of auditing. Then business environment is again not very complex. Regulation which includes income taxation, which is specific to state. Accounting is more of like US GAAP, IFRS, e INDIAS, ASR, more of similar lines. Uh, uniformity across USA, as I mentioned, that CP exam is uniform irrespective of the state in which you applied. It has no relevance. You can uh, uh, you can assure that your examination is uniform irrespective of the state in which you apply. 18 months completion window with which you are supposed to complete all four sections and minimum passing score is 75 so it is not 50 that is 75 is a minimum passing score but friends nothing to worry if you are a ca you we have been gone through a lot of hard work a lot of uh, persistent and uh, understanding about how to pass this examination next part is about cp exam structure it is a computer based so you have to go to a particular prometric center and then in a computer that will be exemption will be there so primary it includes mainly two parts first is a multiple choice questions and second is a task based simulation so case studies are there uh, in this task based simulation mcqs you all are aware that there are four uh, basically or questions multiple choice are provided to you with the particular questions and in case of bec examination there is maybe required to write down certain reports or presentation or communication or drafting may be required for BEC examination. So this is the overall understanding of uh, otherwise every uh, examination subject has MCQ as a task based simulation with the communication draft writing for BEC examination. Now after you pass CAP examination I am sure that if you are CA, you are going to pass through it. And that another question comes to pictures, okay, shall I take CPA license? So friends, here we need to understand that uh, as far as CAI rules regulations is concerned, either you can practice as a CA or you can practice as a CPA USA. One cannot practice both as a CA in India and CPA USA. So uh, you are making decision whether you want to practice as a CP USA or you want to do at a CA India. So uh, if you want to do a CPA USA practice, then again, the CPA license requirement is a separate different for each state. You can evaluate and go through every state to identify that particular, what are the requirements. Generally, they have the ethics examination, which may be required to provide additionally and that may be a requirement of work experience so that you do study based on every state requirement or where you want to get license so i think the friends uh, this particular video has been prepared primarily with the object to support my professional colleagues who are already ca and they wanted to have aspiration to be cpa if you have any questions you can feel free to me but in my view it will provide you a basic understanding things as far as the coaching class is concerned in my view uh, it, it is based on you to decide in my view if you are a ca probably you may not be required to have a lot of uh, working hours for a lot of hours to spend time on coaching class but it is your desire how much time you're able to spend time how much your discipline to read these all the things are will decide that whether you want coaching or not Otherwise, in my view, CP examination is not a complex like CA. Once you are a CA in India, you can do anything across the globe. And CP exam is definitely you can pass it out. All the best to all of you. Any questions, please feel free to reach to me. Thank you so much.